Hi, welcome to Bailey Cabin. My name is Kristen and I am so glad that you have stopped by for a visit today. This is going to be a witchy haul and I have been kind of embarking on a new spiritual journey, um, kind of prompted by my subscription to the Goddess Provisions. And I just got my third box from them and it had a, had a bunch of divination tools in it and it really kind of led me down a path um, towards witchcraft. And um, it kind of surprising to me, and it's a little weird to say it out loud, but I'm doing a witchy haul. So won't you join me as I discover some new things. I'm going to include, include a few different shops in this one video. So I have a bunch of things coming from Etsy, from dot coms, websites, things, subscription boxes things like that that I wanted to share with you. So I have my first one. So this is the first part of the video. The first shop that I have received anything from is the Magical Moon and I will link their website down below. She was super fast in shipping. Um, they are I don't remember where they're located, but I'm sure you can find it on the website. And I'm in Washington State, and um, it got here super quick. And out in the boonies, that doesn't happen very often. So super excited to share that with you. The first thing I have is Seven Angels Incense, and it has all the Archangels on there. And it smells amazing. Premium masala sticks on it, but it tells you what each of the archangels are, what their purpose is. So that's cool. And along with that, I got the seven angels cone incense which smells just the same and then these I was really drawn to these tarot cards and one of the reasons that um, Wicca and witchcraft have kind of um, really been appealing to me is the connection with the earth and animals and um, I have a really strong connection with animals, so these are my first tarot cards. These are by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. It's a 78 card deck and guidebook. Kitty's on there. Some angels have four legs and fur. There's the guidebook. And I won't go through the whole deck, obviously, but I thought the artwork was really cute. And it just kind of, I looked at a whole bunch of decks and this was the first one that really jumped out at me. So there's an idea of that deck and it has the princess or queen kitty on the other side. And true to my nature, which I think is another thing that I really kind of drew me into um, witchcraft again, is all the use of candles. So I got a bunch of candles. This is the full moon candle, and these all have crystals in them, and they smell absolutely incredible. She doesn't list the scents on the candles themselves, 
only the crystals that are inside. So these are selenite and the crystals have been magically charged by the moonstone priestess. Oh, just amazing. I think there's some peppermint in there, which is one of my favorites. And then we have the money candle. This is instant and consistent money flow. This has crystals in the top as well. I don't want to spill any that are loose. This one smells really, really good too. Ah, I can't put my finger. Cinnamon. The, it's cinnamon. Uh, this is the the crystals in this one are citrine. Yeah, cinnamon. That's one of my favorite candles as well. So that's perfect. It's one of my favorite scents, not one of my favorite candles. And then we have the goddess candle awaken and embrace your inner goddess which is again what really kind of drew me to the inner i'm sorry that's really kind of what drew me to the goddess provisions box these have emerald this has emerald that gorgeous mm. Lavender, maybe? Hmm. If it lists it on the website, I'll put it down below here, and I will also link her website. And then my final purchase was the Personal Prosperity Kit, and this is full of crystals. We have a green adventuring, rhyolite, green obsidian, red goldstone, jet black, oh, jet, carnelian, and clear quartz. And it tells you what each of those stones do individually. These are nice size. That's really cool. I'm gonna get that one close because it is super cool. <laughs> Clear quartz, the one I can remember. I'm guessing these are also charged and blessed and then let's see something in there I don't know if it's an herb because it's not listed on the little card here but I am guessing I'm assuming that that was part of the ritual to charge or bless them and then we'll just decide where to keep this pouch there's some suggestions on the card here putting it in your pocket putting it on your debit card putting them in your wallet or if you have a money bowl putting them in there so, what do you think? These came packaged amazingly. Everything was wrapped really carefully in bubble wrap, in paper, and tissue paper. It was just beautiful. So, I will definitely, so I will be definitely ordering from the Mystic Moon again. Have you had any experience with them before? Let me know down below. 
and we'll get to the next haul. Hi, so it's a new day and I have several more packages to share with you. I'm going a little bit crazy, so I'm just going to share with you what I have received up to this point and then I am going to go ahead and post this video. One of the first things that I ordered were these sage and lavender bundles and I'll put her Etsy shop here and then I'll link it in the description as well if you are interested. I am um, on my spiritual journey as I mentioned before and I'm one of those people that feels like they have to know a lot and have all the right stuff before they really get started. So I'm kind of starting with um, the basics, if you will. And I think um, sage is probably, sage bundles are probably one of those really basic things for um, cleansing and clearing and things like that, that um, we need to do with our tools before we get started. So you can see the lavender here. Smells very sagey. Just a little bit of lavender, but these are hand bundled. I got them on Etsy and I got a three pack of these. So I kind of feel like I can start cleansing my tools and um, shifting energy and things like that now that I have some sage and things like this I'm really wanting to buy on Etsy um, support small shops support women run businesses um, support minorities um, women of color in the opportunity that I can um, for things like this that you really can get handmade and readily available in the U.S. or the, the country that you're in. So I've got a combination of things and you'll see kind of why I do some things on Etsy and others on Amazon. So the next thing I got were some face masks and I don't even remember how I stumbled across her shop. But I thought these were absolutely beautiful. Got the one and then the triple moon here. And it's really hard to show just how beautiful this is because it's got a really nice shimmer on it that's hard to pick up in the camera and the sun's starting to go down. My house faces east, or those windows do, so it starts blazing through here in the afternoon and can get a little bit uncomfortable. And then kind of one of the other things I felt were um, basics uh, for getting started are um, crystals. So I got this Etsy shop here. Again, I'll link it down below I got a 21 piece beginner crystal set and it has um healing crystals crystal crystal discovery and an ID card which I really appreciate because like I said I'm right here at the beginning of my journey and I've been interested in crystals for a while, but I haven't explored much beyond the really most basic, um, you know, rose quartz and crystal quartz. My birthstone is aquamarine, um, so I have some of that, but um, I wanted to get started in a hurry, and this shop provided a nice big set of the basics to get started. So I know that um, some um, so some of these are rough. <laughs> it 
It's getting really warm right here. This is so sparkly and pretty. Trying to get it where you can see it, but the sun isn't like blasting it out. Do you know that this one is clear quartz and nice size on that? Looks like it's partially cut, not completely raw. big piece of raw rose quartz which again I do have some of but I'm thinking that rose quartz is something I'll be using a lot so I'll have plenty of that and this giant amethyst cluster, which is so beautiful. I do want to catch that one in the sun. And right on the raw edge there. So pretty. And then... We have some piece of desert rose, which I do have a few of. I think I got my first one in Goddess Provisions, and then I have two little ones that I got from somewhere else. I'll have to remember where that was. And then we have a nice big bag of tumbled crystals. And I'm not going to know what each one of these is, so forgive me for now. We'll learn together. No, that's tiger's eye. I remember having some tiger's eye as a kid. I think in the 70s, maybe that was a thing. This one's really pretty and sparkly as well. I'm just, I've always been kind of drawn to crystals, so this is kind of one of those reasons why I am uh, leaning my energies towards witchcraft or Okay, so that was that store. This one was just a little order, but I was looking for specifically for incense. And um, I ran across this shop. You can get all sorts of incense on Etsy. Um, this, came, this is house cleaning incense and you just cut for me anyway I just kind of get a vibe or a feeling from a store 
This one is Solar Plexus. And my husband did not like this one. He usually likes incense quite a bit and gets excited when I'm burning incense. But he didn't like it. There's something in this one that I'm not sure or we're not sure what it was that he didn't like, but this one is Palo Santo, Sandalwood, Frankincense, Bearberry, and White Sage. And then the Solar Plexus is Willow, Sandalwood, Eyebright, Lavender, Myrrh, Jasmine, Witch's Grass, and Maravain? Bearvein. You get five cones in each of these. It was packaged really nice. And then I also got a magical powder, self love, and it came with this really pretty little rose quartz wire wrapped on the top of the glass bottle with a little cork in it. And this smells really nice. Um, it says magical powders can be used to dress spell candles, burn on charcoal discs, um, sprinkle in corners of your home, add to, oh, it had to magic, mojo or gree gree bag. Add to a poppet or voodoo doll, sprinkle in shoes or across someone's path, and as an offering to the divine, and you get 10 grams in this pretty bottle. And then these are kind of funny. Now my daughter um, ordered some custom temporary tattoos a few weeks ago, and she sent me a link to a $10 off coupon on your order or 10%. Either way, I'm going to link it below for you, but I haven't gotten a new tattoo in years and years, and this is not the time to be doing it. So I went to inkbox.com and I just looked through their, um, their stock artwork, which they have tons of, and you can get different sizes. You can order custom artwork as long as it's not um, uh, copyrighted. And hopefully you can see these. I found a few designs again that were I really loved. And these are lang long lasting and they develop over time. So you actually put this on your skin for about an hour um, and then you take the backing off and you continue to let it dry and over, um, I think it's a whole day, your um, tattoo develops and then it lasts for two weeks. So I thought these were all really cool. And then they'll maybe help me decide when it's time to get a new tattoo, what I'm gonna get, where I'm gonna put it. I love this one. This is the first one that was in my cart. The more you order, the bigger your discount. And they came really, really fast. So I love these. I don't know if you can see the detail. I'll get a little bit closer. So I'll link that coupon down below. You may get a better deal um, from ordering more or signing up for their newsletter. So feel free to do that. They also include primer wipes in um, your kit here to prepare your skin and they also have a video so you get the best out of your application. So really cool. I'm excited to get these. 
Okay, so now on to some books. And I am, like I said, not sure exactly where I'm going yet, but I'm really kind of feeling drawn to witchcraft, um, looking at Wicca, reading about Wicca, watching videos about Wicca and witchcraft, and um, feeling really drawn, especially to the witchcraft, um, mostly because of um, the natural elements and um, the association with the earth and the moon and um, the stars and the elements is really is, is what I'm feeling. So I got a few books so far. I also have a few on my Kindle, which I'll link below as well. I haven't gotten very far in any of those, so it's hard for me to tell you really how much I like them. And one of these I haven't started either. But um, the first one is Witchcraft, which actually includes the Beginner Witch, Modern Witchcraft for Beginners, Herbal Witchcraft, and Witchcraft Supplies by Lisa S. Cunningham. And the reason I got this one is because it's the collection of all of these. And so far I'm really liking it. It's a pretty easy read. So it's big text, even though it's got four books in it, it's only 522 pages um but so far i'm i'm really enjoying it so uh i recommend it for a beginner so far i am very open to your suggestions um anything that you think i should see as far as videos or um youtubers anything like that please feel free to link it below and um I will link some of the YouTubers that I'm watching as well in case there are any that you are interested in. The next book is Wicca by Harmony Nice. And I've actually been watching a bunch of her videos on YouTube and I didn't make the association until after I had ordered my book. So that was pretty cool. Um, she's absolutely beautiful and this is turning out to be uh, a really good educational book for Wicca and I'm almost using it as more of a reference book at this point. So if I see a video or I read something somewhere and I want more information about that, I'm going to this book. And I'm able to look it up and get a definition or a really quick synopsis about it. Um, the about the only reason that I am not decided on Wicca yet, and I know it's more of a calling than it is a decision, um, but I would say at this point it is. Um, it, it feels a little exclusive and in some initiation rituals. So I totally forgot what I was talking about. My husband called. Um, so I hope it wasn't anything important. I guess if I catch it while I'm editing, then I'll make a note about it. Um, but I saw this book recommended on a couple of videos that I watched. So I grabbed this one from Amazon. All the books came from Amazon, which I think is probably, in most cases, the best place to get a book. Uh, Wikipedia Modern Day White Witches Guide by Sean Robbins and Leanna Greenaway. It's really cute book live life to the fullest using simply fabulous contemporary witchcraft and this really I just kind of thumbed through it a little bit uh, seems to be a lot about um, 
pretty basic things, but also things that I thought was pretty funny, like cell phone so sorcery and microwave magic. Um, talks about the moon phases, Ouija boards, angels, um, tools, and your altar, um, do's and don'ts. Um, so it seems like it may have a little bit of a sense of humor to it, which I definitely appreciate. Um, a lot of the witches that I am watching are pretty ordinary everyday people from what I am gathering so far. And that's kind of me. So, um, those are those. I am ordering things also for my altar and I don't have a good surface for an altar at this point. So I did order a bookcase. And the reason I ordered a bookcase is that I want, um, and I should say it's a ladder bookcase. So the top shelves are more shallow than the lower, um, shelves so I can display things and have my altar set up there. That's a ways away. Um, and so as I'm getting all of those things, I'll continue putting videos together, but I don't want them to be super long. Um, the next thing, the last thing that I have for today is I'm going to call this a journal for right now um, with the Book of Shadows in mind. It has a really pretty little pop here. It has handmade paper in it. It's beautiful paper. This one isn't attached, which is kind of good because then I can show you the texture of it. It's just amazing. I think this is what I read from the reviews. Also, this is going to be one sided, especially if you're using like a gel ink or something really um, wet like that. But this is just it's super cool. And um, I was really looking for something bigger. So I have another one on the way that I have kind of earmarked as my Book of Shadows because I wanted it big enough to be able to put um, the big pages from um, my subscription boxes in. I will see how it all kind of develops and evolves as I get further into this. Um, I haven't, I haven't done a whole lot yet. Um, I did, I have some crystal candles that I unboxed earlier in this video that I have been burning and meditating with as well as um, the incense and things like that. But I'm really, again, kind of waiting for my altar. So um, just getting started. Again, I would love it if you have any suggestions to go ahead and post those below in the comments. I'll have all the shops and uh, products listed below. Remember to like and subscribe so you see my other videos come up. I am going to start my spiritual journey um, vlog um, really soon. So if you want to be a part of that, you'll want to subscribe and ring the bell as well. Um, I had a couple requests for that, which I'm really excited to share. So Thank you very, very much for joining me here at Bailey Cabin. In Bailey Cabin, I really, really appreciate it that you've taken your time to come by and say hi. 
Again, my name is Kristen, and I am so glad that you're here. I hope you're well. I hope you are treating yourself well, treating each other well, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>